children, how are you all feeling? Your smiles are telling me that you're feeling great today. And I am here to make you feel even better because I have certain colorful and interesting things for you. Do you know what they are? They are the puzzles. Yes, you heard me right. You are going to solve some puzzles with me. So are you all ready? So now we are beginning with puzzle number A. So A puzzle is Kopal arranged number cards in the image and Anaya hide them with bowls as shown. Can you recognize the numbers? Well, I know you need some help and for that I am here. Let's have a look at the table. Now here, can you see that I have these bowls placed here and there are number cards below them. Can you identify the first number? Try. Yes. Just try to imagine which number looks like this from below. Mm -hmm. Some of you have got it. Some of you are still thinking. Come on. Absolutely right. Now let us reveal the answer. So for that, all we have to do is remove this bowl. Are you ready? Shall I? All right then. Tara, the number is two. Those of you who guessed number two, you are absolutely right. So give a pat on your back because you did amazing. Now, can we solve the other puzzle? Now, as you can see, in this, we can see the top part of the number and the bottom part is hidden. Now, let's see what is the number. I think it is number 5. Yes, it is number 5. So, all you have to see is what is the image visible to you? If it is the upper portion, which number does it match? That is all. And that's how you can solve all the puzzles. Let us try the next one. If you guessed 8, then you're absolutely right. What is the next one? Oh, now that was number 7. He looks very smart, doesn't he? Anyways, now if you don't have these cards which I have, all you have to do is you can write them down on a sheet of paper and then cover them with bowls. But what if we don't have the bowls? Then you can use your magical hands like this and then you can remove let your friends guess you can take turns one question can be asked by you and one can be asked by your friends i am sure you enjoyed puzzle a now it's time for puzzle b are you all ready so puzzle b is count the number of logs is it three logs or four logs can you see the image well, one of my friends is saying that the number of logs is 3 and the other is saying that the number of logs is 4. But what is the answer? Can you help them? Are you ready to solve this? Well, I will not help you in this because I am sure you can do it on your own. After that interesting log puzzle, it's time for our third puzzle. That is puzzle number C. This is how Zarina set the glasses. Now you must be asking, who's Zarina? Well, she's my friend and she taught me a way of arranging glasses. Well, I have brought these glasses for you today to show you how she taught me to arrange these glasses. That is an interesting way. Then let's start. So the first one that Zarina taught me was to place one glass here. So we have placed a glass here. Next, she asked that we have to place three glasses. Two at the bottom and then very carefully, we have to take the third glass and we have to place it over them. Now, the next step is you have to take three glasses at the bottom. Now, after three, how many glasses can you put? Two more to balance them. And then on the top of those two glasses also, we are going to put one more glass. Let us see how it looks. 
wow, Zarina has done something amazing and she's taught me to do it. And now even you can do it. Here we have one, then we had two, then we had three. Now what's the next number? Oh, you all are superb. Absolutely correct. Four. Now I'm sure you all are going to have so much fun in arranging these glasses as pyramids. So what are you waiting for? Start now. Let us move on to the next puzzle and that is puzzle D. Well, it will take some of your brains and some of your eyes. Yes, you have to see very carefully to find the numbers from 1 to 10. So are you ready? Ta-da! Now on your screens, you can see the grid. Can you? Great. Now with this grid, what you have to do is you have to find the number names from 1 to 10. 1 is being done for you. Now the standing lines are called columns and the horizontal lines or the sleeping lines are called rows. You can find 1 in 6th column and 4th row. 1 is starting from there. So 1 goes from 4th row till 6th row. Can you find it? That is exactly where it is. Now in the same manner, you have to find numbers 2, 3 till 10. Can you do that? Yeah, I know you think it is very easy. But let me tell you, you are going to take some time to find these number names. So enjoy. I hope you enjoyed finding those numbers and you found them very easily in the grid. Right? Yeah, I knew that you would do it. Now it's time to move on to puzzle E. Are you ready? Well, all you have to do is, as you can see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and number 5. You just have to work with 5 numbers. So don't worry, not too many numbers this time. But the twist is, you have to fill the numbers from 1 to 5 in the given balls so that the sum on both sides is equal. Now, try filling these numbers in the balls so that the sum on both the sides is equal. Can you try that? That's great. Now it's time for another interesting puzzle that is puzzle F. And this puzzle is related to one of my friends whose name is Gillu. So Gillu's favorite number is 8. Yes, he loves number 8. If the answer of the asked question is 8, he becomes happy. And if the answer of the asked question is not 8, it is something else, then he becomes sad. So now it's your turn to ask Gillu some questions and make sure that the answer of those questions is 8 so that we can make my friend Gillu happy. Let's see. So Gillu, 4 plus 4 is 8. So the answer is 8. So Gillu is happy. Similarly, you also have to frame the questions. Make sure Gillu is happy at the end. So try making questions on your own now. Well, I think that's enough. You need to hold your horses. You are doing so well. So, for today, we are going to stop here and next time, we are going to do the rest of the puzzles. So, be ready for the next time because I am going to have some more difficult questions for you, some puzzles that my friends have shared with me. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.